Good morning, Virginia. This is Virginia This Morning. Our next guest here on our live show is a Richmonder who's won numerous awards for her short stories. River of Dust is her debut novel, a story of Christian missionaries in China in the early 20th century whose young son is kidnapped. Author Virginia Pai will be reading from and discussing River of Dust at the Library of Virginia's Books on Broad event coming up Wednesday night here in the city. Good morning, Virginia, and Hello. congratulations on your debut novel. Thanks so much, Tori. Thank you. As an award-winning novelist uh, or, or short story writer, what made you decide that you wanted to go long form and write a novel? Well, actually, I've been working on novels for many years. In fact, I've written five previous novels, and this is the first to get published, which is not uncommon with novelists. Um, it's a long apprenticeship, and um, I've had lots of encouragement along the way, so um, it's terrific to have this be the first one to come out. And I understand this is not the novel that you started out writing. This you kind of took yep. bits and pieces of something you'd worked a long time on and then morphed yes. it into River of Dust. Yes, I actually had worked on a book that um, took place over 100 years and told the story of three generations of an American family with ties to China. And in the end, I ended up taking just the beginning and the end of that book and turning it into River of Dust, which takes place in one year, 1910, in northwestern China. So give us the basic outline of the story. Sure. Um, it is uh, the story of an American missionary couple. And um, in the opening chapter, um, they have their toddler son kidnapped from them by Mongolian bandits. So the story sets off at a rapid pace, and it follows the reverend, the father, as he goes into this very desolate and dangerous countryside in search for their son. And he encounters sly nomadic warlords and opium dens and traveling circuses and other adventures, basically, that challenge him. Uh, meanwhile, his wife, Grace, is at home in the mission compound. And over the course of the year that the book takes place, she gives birth to their second child. And she faces enormous challenges as well. And the book um, has a lot of adventure in it and is also a story of a challenge to their faith and their colonial perspective on the world. By the end of the novel, they have a very different picture of their position in relation to China and the people around them. And from what I read, I understand that this story was kind of there for you because your mm -hmm. life has kind of been steeped in the Asian culture. A little bit, yes. My father was born and raised there, and he went on to become a China scholar and a, a sinologist. Uh, he wrote many books on China. Um, my grandparents were, in fact, missionaries in the region of China where my book takes place, and I read my grandfather's papers, which helped to inspire me. Um, he was an early missionary there, went in 1907, and he was sent there, uh, in fact, to shut down the mission because um, all of the Westerners had been killed in the Boxer Rebellion. Um, instead, he built the mission, grew it many times over, and I became very interested in him and his story and started to try to imagine what it would have been like to be there as one of the first foreigners back in this setting that was really quite dangerous. What kind of research did you have to do? Because you've got mm -hmm. this novel set in 1910. Yes. You've got your grandfather's papers, but that doesn't, it gives yeah. you a little bit to go on, but yes. where do you go from there with the research? Well, um, a lot of it came actually out of his papers, and then really um, a lot was from my imagination. Some was from um, the uh, research that I did. Um, you know, I'd read various novels. I had read um, Chinese histories. I had some sense of the background for sure. But also what's wonderful about fiction is that this is my imaginary China. Mm -hmm. It's the China in my mind. Um, I've never been to China, which is surprising to people when I tell them that. Um, but this is sort of a more allegorical China of that time, and um, it creates a, an opportunity for me to sort of show what I thought were the main issues or points going on there at that time. So does that mean there is a trip to China somewhere in your future? Actually, I have been invited to go to the Shanghai Book Festival in 2014, and I'm really hoping to go. That's so. exciting. And you have a book event coming up this week here in mm -hmm. Richmond. That's kind of exciting yes. to do books on broad in your yes. home. Well, your I love hometown. It. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, I've been here for 15 years, uh -huh. and I've helped um, many other fellow authors here in Richmond, supported them, and I'm very excited to get to go and be the one behind the podium and not just in the audience, and um, I think it's going to be great fun. Now, are you going to be reading from the book? I will. I'll read from the book. I also, in fact, have um, images from my grandparents' um, lives in China, and I'll be sharing some of that, some of their story, my own story as a writer, and of course, reading from the book. Mm -hmm. Now, so. when you're going to read from the book and, and take something almost out of context,
hashtags. How do you decide what part you want to share ah. with the audience? Well, in some of the book events I've been doing, I've been reading a very dramatic passage um, that takes place at, in fact, a traveling festival. Um, so I've been reading that, but I actually think for the Library of Virginia, I will read the beginning of the book because that is what is you know, set up to entice people to read more. So hopefully it will have that effect. Right, and, and that really yeah. does kind of set up the entire story. It does. And move yeah. forward from there. Yeah, well, it's absolutely. a wonderful book, River Thank of you. Dust, Virginia Pie. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us today. Really appreciate it. You're very welcome. And you can see Virginia Pie on Wednesday, June 12th at the free Books on Broad event at the Library of Virginia at 800 East Broad Street downtown. The event begins with a wine and cheese reception at 530, followed by a reading and discussion and a book signing. Best of luck with the book, Virginia. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming in. Bill, over to you.